late morning so um, well it's very late morning uh, I'm about to go and meet my friend co for coffee uh, we haven't seen each other like the whole summer because um, she's been traveling a lot and she also has a one child left at home that is still school age so obviously it was summer holiday so she was doing things with him uh, let me show you what I'm wearing so I'm just wearing my slim jeans this is the t-shirt from um, Zara you know just normal cotton t-shirt with these shoulder pads have my Ralph Lauren belt this is the middle size not the thin not the very wide one and my platform trainers um, these are from mint velvet I bought them early spring I think but they still seem to be doing those trainers so I will leave you the link and for my jewelry this is from Miss Summer London and this um, I bought ages ago at QVC they don't sell it anymore but with this I am going to wear my linen jacket so I'm going to wear my linen jacket this lovely pale blue one it's got like already gathered sleeves uh, this one was from so Sanda. I've shown it to you whenever I got it so yes nice and cash so yes it's very difficult to dress yourself at the moment because it has cooled down a lot definitely autumn is coming but it's still warm you can see the sun coming in and out so it's still about 20 21 degrees and when the sun goes in and there is a bit of breeze it gets a bit cooler so like this is just perfect but when the sun comes out it still gets really hot so it's that in between time that you don't know how to dress actually right now i'm feeling quite hot <laughs> so i might have to go and get changed maybe i just put my linen shirt on i don't know i have a very strange week this week um i'm having we are having our decking redone I actually filmed a bit of the carcass, the frame, when they've taken the boards off. Look how awful they were, completely disintegrated. Uh, so yeah, it was such a mess. Um, they've done like half of it now, so it looks really good. Paul can't wait to go and, and um, oil it, but because he has so many jobs he doesn't come here every day for the whole day one day might be just a few hours so he's taking the whole week and um, I haven't been able to film because obviously they're making a lot of noise cutting the wood and and all this so I couldn't do that I have no gym this week but I have done a workout and I'm still stretching three times a week, so I'm being really good. Um, I have a doctor this week, doctor's appointment, so we will see, because my blood is back, you know, I am suffering really badly, so hopefully she will be able to solve this mystery. So yes, I have that, and tomorrow, right so i found well paul found it his um his company supports this charity i found this charity that supports the whole of berkshire so if you live anywhere in berkshire i will leave you the uh, link to this website so you can donate clothes shoes bedding towels and uh, near christmas toys for the children they support, you know, victims of um, domestic violence, homeless people, uh, people that suddenly found themselves in a really difficult financial situation. And of course, we know right now with the cost of living crisis, it's a nightmare. So I've been um, sorting out my wardrobe, you know, because we're coming into autumn. So I've started like putting my autumn clothes in the wardrobe. Um, I still have I've put some summer ones away, like the really, really summery dresses that I probably won't wear what I want now. Um, 
and I got rid of some things that I've had for years. You know that item that you have in your wardrobe that is like 20 years old, you never wear it anymore, but it still looks like new and you think, oh, it brings me so many memories, I can't get rid of it. And I've done that with few things that I've been, I've been doing this like every year, shall I give it away, shall I keep it? And I've always kept it and just sit there doing nothing. Um, some some shoes as well um, so yes I'm going to go tomorrow it's a bit of a drive for me uh, but that doesn't matter um, and they also actually um, launder everything and iron and then the local social services come and collect stuff for specific people so I thought that was really good so um, yeah I, I will leave the lips lip site website address of this charity because they support the whole of Berkshire and I think they have two sites where you can go and drop off your donations. I don't know if they pick up um, but apparently this is um, first charity of this kind in the country so yes so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow and uh, hopefully I will have a window this week to film a video because I'm short on videos. Let me report to you on my orchid. It's doing very well. And you, looking beautiful. The leaf started really growing uh, because at this time that's where the plant needs its energy for growing the new leaf. And I think these dormant buds are getting a bit bigger. Yeah, one here, one here, and where is that one? And there is one here. So yes, my daughter Orchid is doing very well. Right, I'll speak to you later. Good morning, my lovelies. So, I've been very, very busy today. So this morning I've cleaned everywhere downstairs, washed my floors and then I went to this charity place, it's called Cowshed, yes Cowshed and yeah it was amazing, a uh, huge huge place and they also have a shop so um, if people donate like party wear, you know, sequin dresses, this is not something that people in need want or need right now. So what they do, it's like a charity shop. You can buy stuff in there for, you know, next to nothing really. It's just to, I suppose, pay for, for the functioning of this place. So I did that. The work on my decking has stopped because for the rest of the week it's gonna just pour down with rain. Right now it's sunny but all day there are like five ten minutes of torrential rain so and it's gonna be like that for the rest of the week so nothing is gonna happen to my deck in this week. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow so I will tell you what she said. Right my lovelies, um, I think I'm going to get on with some other things now hi my lovelies i'm just sitting in the car park waiting to go and see the doctor i'm a bit early i've got another 15 minutes because i had to drop paul off at the train station he's just gone to london so um instead of going home i thought i'd just sit here in the car park and i can talk to you so yeah let's see what she says um so I want to talk to her about this constant bloating. I don't know if I told you that my bloat is back with a vengeance. Um, therefore, I don't know, you know, I've made this decision to cut my um, estrogen patches in half. So I take half a dose twice a week if I should have done it or not or shall I go back on what I was. So I want to talk to her about that and, and see if she can sort out uh, this bloating oh by the way I was watching the news this morning and they said on the news that HRT is gonna be 
available over the counter now in a pill form I think but just for menopausal women which not someone like me because I still have periods therefore I'm perimenopausal if you've lost your period for a year or longer you'll be able to get those over the counter I think those pills are like combined um, estrogen and progesterone so that's a development but I don't know how that would work because obviously if it's over the counter it's gonna be just like one dose for everyone I don't know um, just turn my car off but yeah that that's really good isn't it and also I want to ask her about my ears you know I've told you months ago I've been suffering with this dryness itchy ears for like over two years now um, and I bought this automized spray from a pharmacy online and that helped really quickly and I think I was fine for about two or three months but now it's back and I don't want to use this automize again because on the box it says because I think it has some mild antibiotic in it as well it says that you should only use it for a week and if it doesn't get better then you should see a doctor yes and then I have to go to town return a pair of boots I bought a beautiful pair of leather boots black knee high and I, I've noticed that um, one of the trends for boots this year is, you know, those really stretchy calf hugging boots. So that's what they were. They were from, were they from June? Yeah, I think they were from June. And they were all leather, but um, the part on your lower leg was like, a, like stretchy leather they looked beautiful they would look lovely under skirts dresses over leggings they were very easy to put on and and the stretchy bit, bit went pretty easily over your calf and i've got slim calves but oh my god trying to take them off I spent about 10 minutes trying to take them off because it wasn't the calf but you know when you're trying to get the foot you know in that angle out of the boot of that stretchy leather I thought I was gonna break my foot so I thought they were you know because they leather they were quite expensive and I thought I am not paying that money to every time I want to take them off to struggle or break my foot so I'm going to return them I've also bought a couple of um, nice very long cardigans from H&M <laughs> but what I did so what I often do when I shop online I go over everything and whatever I like I put in a basket and I don't necessarily buy it I just leave it there I move on but on some websites especially if you are logged in it keeps this stuff in your basket so I obviously went another time and put the same cardigans in a basket didn't notice and press pay paid for it and when he arrived I had four cardigans so I've ordered them twice <laughs> so I have to I have to go and return two of them I feel a bit awkward because a man just parked right next to me he's just dropped off his wife and he's waiting in a car so yeah I think I'm talking to myself mind you I could be talking to someone on the phone yeah so I will let you know when I've come out of there dead or alive <laughs> um, what she said right I couldn't talk to you in a car park because when I came out uh, that man was still sitting next to me his wife still hasn't come out so <laughs> I thought I'd get home and talk to you because it's very early in the morning it's not even 
just after nine so the shops are not open yet so i couldn't go straight to town to return this stuff oh my god what a lovely experience so i was very very stressed about going to to the doctor uh, first of all i don't often go and the few times you know before all this covid or whatever i've been i've told you they hardly ever even look at you or sm let alone smile at you she was so lovely uh, she didn't make me feel like hurry up and go because you know i'm busy she was really really lovely yeah i lie down she felt my tummy and she said that it felt you know she said i don't feel any lumps or anything but she said it feels very sort of swollen and full <laughs> if you know what i mean and it, it was quite tender when when she was feeling it so um so we've got diagnosis well she's sending me for lots of blood tests and a scan so they want to rule out obviously um ovarian cancer uh, but she said you know she's not really thinking that way but she said you know you we will do it so i've made an appointment for my um blood tests um and to do like a health check to do everything and the blood test for for ovarian cancer and then i'm going to get an appointment to hospital for a scan but she thinks there is something along the way constipation and um, um ibs she said all that could be caused by the marina coil the progesterone so i've told her that i've decided myself i was a doctor to myself to cut these um estrogen patches she just smiled she said no just go back on what you wear there's nothing to do with that so so i'm gonna be back on the the 50 milligrams and yeah i will have all these blood tests done and um oh yeah and she also prescribed me something Oh, she prescribed me some powder that I have to dilute in water. It's for like your bowel movement. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm really... This is like too much information, isn't it? Like I'm really constipated. But I don't go as frequently as I used to. So, um, so yeah, she said I have to drink this every day to make things move in. So I, I will buy that when I'm in town. Uh, what else? Oh, I I asked her about my ears. I said, can I just ask about one thing quickly? Um, and I asked her about the ears and she said, she, she had a very quick look. She didn't look properly or anything. Um, she said that it, it looks like eczema. Because I've actually noticed that I have a bit of dry skin now outside my ear. So she prescribed me a steroid ointment and she just said, use it at for two weeks at the time have a break and when he comes back do it again so that's what i'm going to do yes so you know because with all this um not being able to see a doctor through all this covid stuff and and all this palaver i was really anxious going thinking they just will want to get rid of me as quick as possible um and I always feel as well, well, you know, my condition is not life threatening, it's not so important and I feel like they're gonna think I'm wasting their time. But she definitely didn't make me feel like this, so it was nice. Okay, let me show you now those two cardigans. Okay, so here is this cardigan. I got it in size small because it's quite oversized but um yeah it's nice and long i really like it so this is like a um i would say oatmeal color and then i've got another one that is charcoal so let me show you that one and here is the charcoal really nice inexpensive i think it was 24 pounds 
$24.99, something like this. There. Yeah. Yes, I really like them. I mean, you know, they're not like the best beautiful quality, but for the price, you, you can't expect that. But they're very soft and, and nice, and I love the length. The thing is, here in the UK, especially, oh my God, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> especially down south where I live, um, the weather will be appropriate for cardigan until probably in November, you know? So things like that are very useful to me. Cardigans or like the trench coat that I bought, because like I've told you before, um, the, you know, if I go somewhere, get in a car, get out of the kind of car park, go to a shopping center, so it's never cold there. Right, I'm going to finish my coffee um, and I will go to town. I need to get my sourdough bread as well. I try to get this powder and return the stuff. Hi everyone, so we are on our walk with Louis. I just come on to say goodbye in this vlog. I haven't vlogged that much throughout the week because as you all know, our queen has died. Very, very sad. And well, it's just very sad. I feel like I've lost my home grandmother and I think a lot of people feel like this. Our longest reigning monarch, incredible woman. And I feel like this country will never be the same. So yeah, on our TV, all there is is tribute being paid to the queen and the funeral is next Monday. Just very, very sad time. I remember seeing her, you might remember the, I did a video in one of my vlogs. She was opening the new town centre near me. And um, I went and I saw her like three feet away from me. So yes, I saw her once in real life. But yeah, it's just really sad and um, beginning of new era. Yeah, so I haven't felt really much like doing videos. I've been watching a lot of the stuff on the TV. Um, but you know, life must go on. So I will finish this vlog here. Uh, have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.